In the race to develop robots that are smarter and faster, a test of sorts, pitting 12,000 runners beside 21 humanoids along a 13-mile course billed as the world's first half-marathon starring machines. Unlike the human runners here, the robots have a choice. They can have their batteries changed or just lie down. While many of the human counterparts stopped to take selfies, the robots trailed from the outset. Some of them barely got started. One with propellers went out of control. Others fell apart. Laying bare the challenges that still confront the industry here. That more than 20 robot companies participated shows that robot tech in China is pushing forward quickly, said the team leader for the winning humanoid. Tian Gong finished in two hours, 40 minutes, after three battery changes and one fall. We met Tian Gong before the race. He's saying hello. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, yeah. too. In a demonstration of what the company calls embodied intelligence that plants smarter AI into a more durable body with legs that function like human limbs over varied terrain. Next generations can look more lifelike with silicone skin, hair, and facial expressions. What's your name? The idea for humanoids to do jobs ranging from manufacturing and home repairs to companionship and caring for the elderly. For a lot of people, this might be freaky. Mm. How do you get humans to accept robots? as a fact of life. We want robots to feel more real, says Wei Jiaxing, so people feel more comfortable around them. There's been a huge push behind humanoid robots in China. Videos of them dancing, performing, or doing kung fu have gone viral on social media here. China's government and state media promoting the industry as the next big thing, like the campaign behind Chinese electric vehicles. In this race, designers were urged to get creative. They screwed on sneakers and tracksuits or took off heads and fingers to minimize weight and overheating. The CEO says it's not about winning. It's about testing the batteries, which are the core technology here. Seeing them up close is way different than seeing them on TV, says this runner of the only half marathon where the also-rans got all the attention. At 74, these new things can open my eyes, she says. Ultimately, only six of the 21 competing robots survived, proving perhaps that people haven't completely lost to technology quite yet. Janice Mackey Frayer, NBC News, Beijing. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.